Hello, this video is a collaboration with an amazing organization yeah. and YouTube channel, the Country Music Association. I originally did a collaboration with them before and they introduced me to George Jones, but they've also introduced me to this amazing artist, Lainey, and I got this performance that I'm going to react to from their channel. But they don't just have performances on their channel, they have some amazing playlists. One of my favorites is the Music To My Ears playlist, where some of the greatest country artists and songwriters break down their hits. It's really fascinating to see where their inspiration comes from. I also love the high notes, which is another format where they sit down with icons, up and coming artists and people from the industry and see what's going on the day before a big career milestone. There's also plenty to hear from Lainey herself on the channel. If you want to hear more and learn about what goes on behind the scenes in country music, click the link in my description and subscribe to the Country Music Association's channel. All right, let's give Lainey a listen. Just before the sun What tone Went right in the mall for us Hanging out on the gate of his truck <laughs> Threw a blanket and made the sunset Being brave as 18 gets We gave each other more than our hearts With the help of a mason jar so there's some really interesting stylistic things with the help of the maid. I cannot do it. I sound terrible, but there's these little cry cry breaks. There we go. Onto lots of the notes. It's going out throughout the throughout the phrasing. But this often comes from how people speak the natural scoop and slide of an accent. Um, so it is very very natural. And Lainey is a very authentic person. She comes from a very small farm, a time where there's only two hundred. 50 people and she was brought up working on a farm so she comes from that background and um, this style of country she likes to call bell bottom country which is a bit of a, a blend of really traditional country music but with a bit of a a bit of a flair a bit of a contemporary flair oh it makes you want to groove She's got some really interesting vowels that are really important to make it sound nice and open and it's partially again to do with her accent, Moonshan and uh, I think she said mine at some point, instead of an I it's an A. Uh. Now that is a little bit of an accent thing but it's also an easier way to sing so if that isn't your natural accent maybe try singing like a country singer when you want those big open vowels that help you keep it nice and warm. Now, um, Lainey Wilson has d certainly paid her dues. She has worked really, really hard. She worked as a Hannah Montana impersonator, which is really funny, uh, when she was in high school. And then she lived in a camper trailer for three years and moved to Nashville to pursue her career in music. So that is... Um, you know, it's very much this kind of idea of what I have of country music, so I'm so glad that she has followed it to the T. Well, oh, that's interesting because it's an R, but that's more her accent there, I think. Oh, I like that. I love that so sure, a tiny touch of growl, a less than I did there. It's just so subtle. These little bits of growl um, make it feel really, really natural and give it that little bit of drive and oomph without having to give any extra volume. You think you got it all figured out, but now I laugh when I think about Think about mm.
I love this little cry break. Now she has that country twang. Now, what do we mean by that? We kind of can get confused in country between this idea of twang and there's two things that it means and she's doing both of them. One of them is that she is singing with her accent. Um, she's using the slides and scoops, the vowel choices that she would naturally use in her speaking voice. The second thing is she's using a thing that's actually called twang, which is when there's a narrowing above the vocal cords and it makes it sound kind of nasal, but it isn't nasal. So um, an idea to try this is if you go, Wah, wah. Now, if it's nasal, wah, mm, mm, when you pinch your nose, it kind of cuts out. If it is twang, wah, 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 then pinching your nose does nothing. And that's what's giving it that kind of cutting sound. Those big open vowels that kind of come naturally to her are what is allowing it to be nice and warm. But you hear at the top of her range, especially, it really kind of cuts through, it's really biting. And um, that is that twang, which um, gives it so much presence. On the Oh, here. The growl. And this is the Country Music Association Festival. I think they do it every year. I'd love to go. Parking back and then cuts to vows. How was his and never been in that house? It's all these, the style, the tone, the scoops, the cry breaks, the twang, um, you know, there's nothing, she's not going to crazy high notes or anything that's really um, too difficult here, but she has such a, a nuanced tone and an expressive voice that it really, really, um, it hits you in a way that it might not. And I don't think that it's because she doesn't have the facility to be able to hit high notes. She sounds like she does, but it's so solid and so nuanced. And she actually wears bell bottoms. <laughs> She's so authentic to the whole country theme that she even wrote a song called What Would Dolly Do? Because she loves Dolly Parton so much. I just love it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.